What's up guys, on Maths here, and we're looking at fractions, decimals and percentages. Everyone's funnest topic. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so, the first question's nice and easy-ish. Um, it's working out what 9 times is a decimal. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a few lines. And you should know that um, you can put things uh, in columns like this. So we have units, get rid of that, and we have tenths, and we have hundredths, etc, etc. And if we write nine tenths, then it would be a nine here, because it's nine tenths. And then we've got to fill in the rest, so zero units, and then we always put a decimal point between the units and the tenths. So that's going to be 0.9. And that's just something you need to know, so three tenths would be 0 0.3, and etc, etc. Um, three quarters is again one that you just need to know. You could use the bus stop method to find it out, um, but you should know a quarter is 0 0.25, two quarters is just a half, 0 0.5, and then uh, three quarters is 0 0.75. Moving on to our AQA offering, and this is uh, slightly later in the paper, kind of question 10. Uh, first one's the same, so three times uh, it will be 0 0.3, but it's asking for a percentage. So to make a decimal percentage, you just times it by 100. So 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 100. So times 10 would be 3, times 10 again would be 30. And you could rewrite that as 30 over 100. And whenever a fraction has a denominator of 100, um, the numerator, the top number, is the percentage. So 30 over 100 is 30 percent. And the way I did, um, I got 30 over 100 was I times top and bottom by 10. So I times that by 10, and that by 10. Moving the other way, uh, it works the other way. So 30 over 100 becomes 30 percent, because percent, like cent, is French for 100. It's 30 per 100, and so this is going to be 43 per 100. 43 per 100. Um, and you might need to cancel this down uh, on some of these questions, but 43 and 100 just doesn't cancel down. I think 43 is even a prime number, so it definitely won't cancel down if the bottom is not uh, a multiple of 43, which it definitely isn't. Okay, with this one here, uh, I probably would convert it first to a mixed number. So 5 divided by 2 is two whole ones and one remainder. So it's two and a half. And we know that um, a hundred, like one is 100%. Uh, so two would be 200%. And a half is 50%. So it'd be 250%. And some people get nervous when you have a percentage over 100. And they say, oh, no, all percentages are out of 100. Probability is out of 100. So 100%, you can't go above that in probability. But of course you can go above that in everyday things. So for instance, if you're a small business and you, you sell, like, you make a little bit of money but not much, and then suddenly you go viral and everyone wants to buy your product, your profits might increase by 250%. That's absolutely reasonable. Um, so you can be above 100%, but just not for probability. And finally, we move on to Ed Excel's offering. This is a great question. Always like multiplying decimals. Uh, loads of different ways of doing this. Um, like many of the techniques involve you converting uh, 54.6 to 546 and uh, 4.3 to 43. Um, and then at the end, you um, divide it by 100 or divide it by 10, then divide it by 10 to convert it back. Um, but we're going to be doing uh, the kind of vertical or the diagonal grid method. You might have your own name for it. And we are first of all draw the grid. Always fun drawing grids. And with this method we draw diagonal lines in the grid. Like so. And we write the number um, going, so 54.6 uh, goes at the top, so 
4.6 goes to the top and 4.3 goes down the right hand side like that simple as that and in each of the boxes we're going to times the two numbers that are above it and to the right of it so for this box here it's going to be 5 times 4 is 20 so the 2 goes here and the 0 goes here so 10's go at the top left units go at the bottom right so for this next box which is this one here it's going to be 4 times 4 which is 16 for this next box it's going to be 6 times 4 which is 24 and for the bottom left box 5 times 3 15 4 times 3 which is 12 and 6 times 3 which is 18 now we uh, add the numbers and I'm trying to pick a nice color so we can see it. we add the numbers starting on the bottom right so this one here so it's just going to be 8 let me add these ones here 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7 add these ones here so uh, 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus uh, 2 is 14 so we're going to carry a 1 add these ones here 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and then add this one here which is 2 now this is the bit of a complicated bit with the decimal points you can see we've got a decimal point here and we've got a decimal point over here we go down from the decimal point at the top and left from the decimal point on the right until they meet, which is here. And then we follow the diagonal down. So it's going to end up here. So the answer is going to be 234.78. Now there's loads of different other methods for doing this. And you can still do this method without um, the decimal points. You could do it as 546 times 43. That would work just as fine and then convert it back at the end. Um, you can also do the column method of, for multiplying. You can do the grid method. You can do whatever method you're comfortable with doing. But since this, a lot of students tell me this is definitely the easiest uh, method, uh, according to them, um, this is what I'm gonna go through on this channel today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's uh, been useful. If you want to see more from us, click like and subscribe. I think it's more subscribe. Like is just if you like this video. Uh, if you want to see even more from us, check out our website on maths.com where there's loads of free resources and free papers and free practice and topics and our amazing summer school which is running right now as long as you're watching this video now. Otherwise, it might not be running anymore. But check out our website, loads of stuff, and I'll see you again for our next video.